So we've talked about in pretty good depth what makes a good bushcrafting fixed blade. But today we're going to be switching it up and taking a look at good good bushcrafting pocket knives. Now before we get into what makes a good bushcrafting pocket knife and choices and considerations, we should talk about why you should choose or why you should think about carrying something like a small lightweight pocket knife for bushcraft. So let's throw this big guy out of the way and jump right into it. Right here what we have is a GEC pocket carver and this has been one of my more favorited bushcrafting pocket knives for a few reasons. One, it's small. Two, it's minimalistic. And three, it's very good at carving, which is primarily the go-to role or task. You would have a pocket knife for. And the primary reason you might want to consider having a pocket knife in bushcrafting is one, if you do a lot of crafting work and you need something that is very good at being precise and fine-tuned, something that has a very small yet very precise edge, something that's going to be smaller and more fine than your primary bushcrafting knife, like a Bark Ribbon Knives Bushcrafter or a LT Wright Legome. Something along those lines, you know, this is going to be, you know, your primary bushcrafting knife. And even though it is a small knife, uh, you know, it's still going to be pretty thick. It's going to be pretty large. And it's not going to be as delicate. And this one's still wearing some good old ferro rod on it. But anyways, so this is going to be, you know, what your primary bushcrafting knife will look like. And, you know, this is just takes the fineness another notch. And, you know, really increases your ability to do fine tasks. Uh, but aside from that, the other reason you might want to consider a folding knife for bushcrafting or a pocket knife for bushcrafting is the ability to offset the use of your primary knife. And that is that regardless to how good the steel is, regardless to, you know, what kind of knife you have for your primary bushcrafting knife, all edges will fade. They'll all get dull over some course of time. At some point, they will be no longer good to cut. And if you have a smaller, uh, and if you have a smaller pocket knife like this, you can use this to offset that edge use so that instead of using your primary blade to do some tasks, you're now using your pocket knife to do those tasks instead. And that just helps pre preserve the edge of your main blade. And so those are some of the primary driving forces to carrying a small pocket knife in bushcrafting. And once again, it doesn't necessarily have to be a fancy Chris Reeves Sabenza. I actually do really like this pocket carver. I think that it makes an optimal choice for bushcrafting because you don't necessarily need anything more than something like a little pocket slip like this to throw your blade into and you know throw this in your pocket and forget about it because in bushcrafting we're not trying to you know emphasize on having a fast draw of your knife you know this isn't for tactical purposes this is for bushcrafting and recreational purposes so getting back to it what are some of the key features that i look for in a bushcrafting pocket knife the first is going to be multi-blades. I don't want anything that has a singular blade and that's for a couple of reasons. One is that whenever you have multiple blades, obviously once again that extends the lifetime of your tool. You know it's going to distribute the weight or the use of the knife. You know each blade can be used you know for a certain amount of time and you can use different blades you know for different tasks and purposes so that you're not just putting all the use on your primary edge. So it's good for longevity of your cutting edges but it's also good for m taking on multiple tasks once again with this pocket carver it has you know smaller secondary blades and these are good at being even more fine-tuned than the primary blade and so that allows me to take on more tasks and to do better work um, when I'm out bushcrafting so it serves multiple purposes in that way and even if you get a different design that isn't something like the pocket carver if you design if you decide to go for another traditional folder design uh, you'll find that a lot of them do have multiple edges just for that reason because they have specific designs or specific blades for tasks and purposes so 
that is the first thing for me. The other thing I want is it to be small, lightweight, and very unobtrusive. And that is really where something like traditional folders, like this pocket carver, fall into. They are very unobtrusive, they're very small. In fact, comparing it against a Chris Reeve knife, Sabenza, which I just so happen to have here, you can see that you know, this Sabenza is much larger, it's much wider, and uh, it's much thicker. Everything is larger on this Sabenza. And the Sabenza is pretty good for everyday carry, and there's nothing wrong with this knife in particular. But for bushcrafting, like I said, when you're using a set of tools, you know, when you have a saw, when you have a when you have a saw, when you have a main fixed blade, when you have a hatchet, when you have an axe, you know, you don't necessarily need a thicker or more, more robust um folding knife because those other tools that are in your toolkit will be able to handle more robust tasks. So I'm looking for something that has multiple blades, something light, something unobtrusive, and something that can easily fit in a pocket. The last thing I look for, for the most part, is a really is a really easy to sharpen steel because I'm taking this blade out to use it a lot. This is the primary blade I'm going to be solving most of my problems with and you know not trying to use my main blade. I want something that I can restore an edge very quickly and very easily in the field and that is another pro to what's in this pocket carver. It's made out of 1095 so you have pretty good edge retention but at the same time when it does come time to sharpen you're going to be able to get a good usable serviceable edge back on this blade in the field with ease. So those are some of the primary things I look for in a solid bushcrafting folding blade and a pocket knife is I want something that by no means is meant to replace my fixed blade. I'm not trying to find a replacement for for this guy, but rather I'm trying to find something that can offset my primary blade without adding much weight or size to my overall kit. Anyways guys, I hopefully I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick video talking about what to look for when you're looking for a bushcrafting pocket knife and hopefully it's been interesting. I do think that pocket knives, while often underrated or overlooked, are really an excellent option and you know you can even integrate things such as Victorinox Swiss Army knives that have multiple you know pen blades on them in a similar manner to this. So anyways guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this, and as always, God bless, and I'm out.